Hey guys. So, this will be the weekly reading for Aquarius. Ooh, so we have frenemies. So you guys may be getting clarity about... Ooh, either this is you or somebody in your energy is starting to realize that they have somebody around them or some people around them that do not have their best interest at heart. All right? That they need to be careful who they listen to or you need to be careful who you listen to or what you share or vice versa. We have third eye here. Unblock and strengthen your third eye. So you may bridge the gap from earthly existence to spiritual realms. We have curiosity. Reclaim your curiosity and have some fun. Don't take life so seriously. We have round and round. Give attention to situations that keep repeating repeating themselves. There is a lesson that you're resisting to learn. All right. Tell me about frenemies. Say yes. So they could have some people around them that or you have some people around you or there's somebody in your energy who has some. I'm feeling inclined to say that it's something external from you. Whoever is in your energy, like I said, take out resonance. Resonance this could be you. There's something that somebody should have said yes to or taken a leap of faith on, whether it's the romance, whatever it is, an offer. But they, there's like somebody's been listening to the wrong advice. Trying to discourage somebody away from taking, I, I don't know. Let's see. Turn out third eye. Somebody needs to learn to listen to their intuition here. Keep your thoughts positive. Move past your limiting beliefs and shift your energy to raise your vibration. Let's see. Clinging. In order to navigate this complexity, you must loosen your grip and be adaptable. Gain new perspectives. We have self love. So, Spirit is saying. Utilize your self-love to, to break some type of repeating cycle here. Awaken the love within you. Attune your heart to love and your energy will connect to the flow of the universe. What does this mean for my collective? Where does my collective fit into this situation? So we have heart calling. Reveal your heart's calling. You have everything you need and now is the time to follow your heart's desire. So yeah, forgiveness. Let go of resentment. Forgive yourself and others so you can restore peace in your heart and love again. Unfolding. Something's not over, Okay. So I was saying, you're going to be getting answers about something or clarity about something soon. Um, somebody could be wanting your forgiveness or you're going to need to maybe forgive yourself for something here. We have unfolding. You close a chapter in your life. However, the story is not over. Give it time to unfold and see it through the end. But for right now, yeah, you're being protected from something here. So they want you to know that something isn't over, but it's not like that person's not in your life, but this isn't happening for you yet. Uh, because they really want you to focus on yourself and they want, they've been protecting you. They've been protecting your emotional, mental, physical, your health. They've been trying to protect you. Um, so what does frenemies mean for my collective? We have boundaries. Be careful who you listen to and what you share. Not everyone has your best interest at heart. Start building and preserving better boundaries in order to protect your emotional and mental space. Okay. Boundaries here. And there's that clarity. So maybe, oh, so are you guys setting boundaries with somebody and it's making them see that what people told them wasn't the truth or the people that they thought had good, their best interest at heart, that wasn't the truth. What does say yes? That somebody may have, um, and somebody should have listened to their own, their gut. They should have listened to their own, their own inner knowing, their intuition because it, it would have told them to say yes to something here, a blessing, a major life change that will have brought um, some type of blessings in, positive things. But there were some people around you or this person that were discouraging them from making this decision. Um, and on top of that, whoever this is, they have self-limiting beliefs uh, that were holding them back as well. Yeah, so we have the witch here. What about the witch? travel so i feel like something that you're doing is creating some type of movement in a situation something moving along yeah someone feels drawn to you divine portal wealth you guys are um your finances are going to be improving here mm, yeah you guys have a windfall coming in everything that you wanted is coming in hmm Give me um, a few more cards to tell me where um, 
something about you guys were holding on very tightly to a situation or a person, but spirit is saying, reclaim your curiosity, have some fun, loosen your grip on the situation, shift your focus away from this. It's okay to shift your focus away from this. Tell you about round and round expansion. So you guys, whatever you cycle, you keep repeating, you're about to grow past that. Or a situation is about to grow past a repeating cycle, like a stuck period in a situation. You're dissolving your, because you're dissolving your limitations. So you're in, yeah, you guys are maybe struggling with self-love. You guys are getting, you, you're growing in your self-love. It's, it's stopping some type of repeating cycle from happening again. Yeah. What about home? And we have build a new. So building some type of new foundation here. Yeah. Building a new type, some type of new foundation, but doing it differently. Yeah. Passion. What, what, what do they need to know about this foundation? Yeah, a new dawn. The worst is behind you. Exciting new experiences are on the horizon. Break free. So they're telling you to let go of this person. Yeah, there's something. There's somebody or something you need to let go of. Break free from. Stop repeating a cycle with. Break free from what's holding you back and move forward. Don't wait for the change. Create it. Yeah, I told you, you're, you're kind of creating some type of change or expansion. For some type of change, yeah, some type of movement in a situation. The conditions are not safe to continue on this path. Allow the universe to write in the imbalance. Yeah, good luck. But it looks like, yeah, you know, true love. Like, so you guys may already know that somebody is your person. But the problem is, is that this person, you know, they're telling you don't stop now. Keep going. Your persistence will pay off. You're almost there. Commit to your dreams. And sexuality. What about sexuality? Foggy. Ooh. Things look a bit foggy now. The truth is being distorted. Proceed with caution. So they're telling you to proceed with caution when it sh comes to sharing your body with people, okay, or this person. Because something is not, the, the truth is being distorted here, clarity. But someone's getting clarity. Somebody could have also thought that something was just purely sexual. But now they're starting to realize, they could even have people telling them this. Now they're starting to realize, no, this is a soul connection. But they're only realizing this because of the boundaries, the distance that you've put between the two of you. Yeah. Someone's realizing that this was more than, yeah, because somebody walked away. What about closure? Back on track. But you had to do this to get back on the right path. Yeah. Somebody maybe also needs to walk away from something. Or maybe spirit, if this person walked away from you or you walked away from them, spirit is saying things are not always what they seem. You'll soon realize that it all worked out for your highest good. You have money coming in for sure. You have abundance um, coming in here. It's almost like someone is not in alignment with some type of environment that was, how do I say this? So like somebody has outgrown a situation, um, whether you've outgrown this person. I also feel like your person has maybe outgrown, is outgrowing a situation too. Um, let's see. Let's get into the tarot. Um Tell me more. So we have the four of wands here. The page of swords in reverse. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. I kind of don't like where the cards are at, but it'll be all right. We have the nine of cups in reverse. The hierophant in reverse. Yeah, be careful of somebody coming in here. Do you guys have somebody that always comes in and tells you that they want to commit to you? They want to settle down. They do want the same things as you. And then their actions never match that. That's what I'm, that's the cycle that needs to be broken here because this person tries to come in and just sleep with you or something like that. You need to take that out of the equation. Clarify the four of wands, Taurus energy with the Hierophant reverse. We have the moon in reverse, Pisces energy. So... Did you guys find out either someone's getting clarity that they want to settle down and they want a commitment where you guys found out or you will be finding out that somebody was married or had in another commitment. I'm going to get more clarity about that in a second. Tell you about the page of swords reverse. See, yeah, you walked away from somebody because they were all talk and no action. Nine of cups in reverse. The ace of swords. See, someone's coming to the realization that something can't bring them fulfillment or that something isn't making them happy. 
So we have the Nine of Wands. The last and grit close. You're close to something here. What is the, the Hierophant reverse though? The world reverse. See, okay. It's almost like I'm getting that Spirit is saying you're very close to some type of some, something. You're very close to something here. It's like the way that things have been going or the way that somebody has been treating you or the way that a situation like the dynamic in a situation has been going up until this point. That's going to be maybe coming to an end here. And then things will be like it's not over between you and this person, but things will be in the future will be, will be different between you and this person. That's almost what I'm getting here. What is the Four of Wands in the Moon in Reverse? The Five of Pentacles and the Fool. Whatever this clarity is that someone's getting is making them leave a situation behind and take a leap of faith. That leap of faith that people were talking them out of taking or their self-limiting beliefs were talking them out of taking um, or making them believe they shouldn't do. Um, but it's like someone is, yeah, somebody was at a crossroads. Should I stay or should I go? Should I stay in my current situation or should I take a leap of faith? on this other situation and i feel like someone is choosing choosing to take that leap of faith what is making someone get this clarity spirit what is making someone get this clarity the nine of swords reverse somebody could be learning to cope better with their for some of you this is somebody that's getting on medication um this is somebody that is but they were not in a good place mentally they could be going to therapy. They could be seeing a psychiatrist. They could be getting on meds. Like something is making this person a lot more clear headed than they were before. Yeah, they could be getting help for if they have mental health issues that was keeping them very confused. So this is somebody that probably needs meds to po function regularly, like or to function in a way where they can make rational decisions and get, you know, think clearly. Yeah, what about the Ace of Cups in reverse? The Ten of Swords reverse. Somebody feels heartbroken here. What's that mean for this person? They're heartbroken. They're confused over what? See, they're th this is a very emotionally unstable person that you're dealing with, guys. Yeah, but they could be. Um, they're maybe they're learning coping mechanisms. They're learning how to. Uh, they're like I said, they could be getting on medication. Mm hmm. What about the Ace of Wands reverse? The Ten of Cups. The Empress in reverse. What was the Empress in reverse? The Five of Cups in reverse. Somebody was... Mm, hold on a second. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm getting from this reading. Somebody is starting to become more clear-headed about things because they're on their meds or something. Like they, They're they getting mental health. Because we did have that health card that came out. Yeah. Huh. This is kind of a different reading. <laughs> Somebody's getting getting help. Like they're finally getting the help that they needed, or they're they're taking the help that they needed. And now let's see if we get a different deck. Um hmm, what should I use here? Where is it? No. <laughs> oh, there it is. It's almost like as someone gets, they're they're becoming more mentally stable. I just say someone decided to get on their meds or they're going to see a psychiatrist, whatever, they're going to therapy, whatever it is. They're starting to see that everybody around them is toxic. They're starting to see that you gave them something. You gave them, it's like their whole perspective is changing. It's like they're unlearning and relearning right now, guys. Wow. Yep, there's that leap of faith energy again. They had toxic people around them. 
that didn't have their that are just was just as sick as them, just as mentally unstable as them in their ear and they were confused but now that they're starting to be more level-headed they're like damn like but we have they did not expect this love to run this deep they're putting their pride aside and taking that leap of faith we have innocence here your innocence and kind heart makes them love you but feel they must push you away to protect you from themselves we have serendipity they're leaving things up to chance and hoping the universe will intervene and bring the two of you together mm. i don't quite like that card because that Sometimes, you know, divine intervention is necessary, but that card always screams to me like, I don't really want to put in too much effort. I'm going to just see what happens in the future. Yeah, the, the player lifestyle that wants to find everything they did, they that they did has stopped looking enticing ever since they met you. You guys maybe even told this person, like, you need to get help. Like, you need mental help. And you, some of you guys maybe left this person because of their mental health or something like that. But we have stuck in a loop again. A pattern has become familiar to them and they are wanting to break free from the same loop they keep, keep repeating. The here font in reverse, the here font can be about habits, like habitual type things, right? The here font is in reverse. So whatever this person kept doing habitually, that is, now they're in like doing something that's unconventional to them. We have new methods, originality, challenging beliefs and authority, not, yeah, personal beliefs. Like they're, they're in the process of unlearning and relearning. Yep, there we have lustful desires again. Yep, someone's also starting to, to decipher between the two, lust and love. There is a difference between love and lust. Don't let your desire destroy you. Overcome the spirit of lust. We have broken. They feel broken inside and don't feel stable enough to trust themselves with your heart at this time. Please be patient. Exactly, heavy on the stable. This, per this is a very broken person. This is a very mentally unstable person that maybe has like a sex addiction or they have some type of like, they have mental health problems, but... Yeah, why well, we have lack of faith. This person's starting to realize, or you guys maybe started losing faith in the situation. We have lack of faith. Clarify lack of faith. Battle of the wits. So you're standing your ground. They're standing their ground. Yeah, we have dark side here. They have a dark side that no one knows and feels it's their true side, but too afraid to show you. Yeah, but they feel like it's hard to, ooh, they feel like it's really hard to stay away from you. Give me one more card on lack of faith. Children without children. Solitude. What does children have to do with that? Potential. And the journey. Hmm. So we have leaving you out in the cult has been one of their biggest regrets, which has made them lose hope in the situation. So hmm, they were feeling very pessimistic about things, but and especially now that you you're kind of like standing your ground or you're standing on what you believe, they've been standing on what they believe, or something like that. You're guarded, they're guarded. We do have potential here. They, they're deep in their thoughts about you realizing their distractions prevented them from seeing the potential in you. Yep, time spent in solitude has given them a chance to get to know themselves better and set a more solid foundation. And we have resurrection here. What you thought to be lost forever will come back and you'll witness the impossible made possible. So back and forth. See, yeah, this person is very, yeah, they're very unstable. They are trying to make sense of this connection, but their emotions swing back and forth between two extremes. The unknown. This person has deep inner child wounds here. This person needs therapy. They need meds. They need they need psychological help from things that their childhood. Like, I don't know how else to put it. Yeah. We have the unknown. The unknown scares them. They see the abundance you bring into their life, but they fear being wrong. After this person goes through this healing process... We have message here. They want to message you and explain everything to you, but they know you have. they have to do right by you. So this person knows you're not playing with them. So yeah, they're going with them to find their higher purpose and discover the meaning of life and this connection. And once they do this, look, this is what they're coming back towards you with. The fight, their inner warrior is being activated. They're getting ready to fight for you and overcome their fears of love. And at last, they don't want you to give up now when you've come this far because it will all be worth it in the end. So yeah, this person, yeah, look at this. Coming apart, meeting you was unexpected. You change, you're the catalyst for this person to level up. You walking away from them. I definitely like some of you guys walked away from them, whatever. You entering this person's life or whatever occurred between the two of you has been a catalyst for this person to level up. Meeting you was unexpected. You changed their whole world forever, feeling lost as they lose their old identity. And we have watching you. They've been watching your social media to see what you post and get clue, clues to how to approach you. This person is leveling up, but they know that they're that you're not they're not playing, you're not playing with them. And that's why, because you guys stop playing with them. That's why they're leveling up. 
they are aligning to the frequency of love and operating at a high frequency vibration with openness to receiving. So that's what they're apparently um, transforming into. 